हेलो एवरी वन सो टूडे वी आर सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम मैजिक स्क्वायर इन ए ग्रिड सो बेसिकली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वन ग्रिड इज गिवन टू अस एंड इन साइड दैट ग्रिड वी हैव टू फाइंड ऑल द मैजिक स्क्वायर एंड ए मैजिक स्क्वायर इज ए थ्री बाई थ्री ग्रिड ओके थ्री बाई थ्री ग्रिड फिल्ड विद डिस्टिंग नंबर फ्रॉम वन टू नाइन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट शुड हैव ऑल द नंबर्स डिस्टिंग एंड दैट ऑल्सो शुड बी वन टू नाइन एनी थिंग बिटवीन दैट एंड इंक्लूडिंग दैम and the sum of each row each column and both the diagonals should be same okay then we can say that yeah this is a magic square so we have to find the total number of magic square in the given grid okay so what i will do is let me explain the things what we will do so suppose uh, we would have this kind of matrix right so for example here 8 by 8 matrix okay so uh, If we start our i means uh, if we start our i for this thing right for number of columns we have to stop here right we just cannot start anything which is going beyond uh, the third last value right because otherwise it will if we start from here this will not become a three by three okay so our i would vary from so we will have to check i is equal to zero to i is less than n minus three. Right. If m minus three, if m is the number of columns there, so i is equal to zero to i less than m minus three, and i plus plus. Okay. This would be our value of our columns, right? And similarly for this rows, if we think about the rows, for rows also z equal to zero to z less than n minus 3 and j plus plus right this is the first condition where we have to call our functions to check for the magic array because these are the extreme condition where 3 by 3 uh, matrix can be met right so see here we can reach only till here okay so what is this this is so uh, 8 minus 3 so uh, And so it it would be less than or equal to okay less than or equal to this less than or equal to this okay so you can see here this would be our last one right so eight by eight so eight minus three so eight minus three equal to five right so we can go only till this index okay because this would be our last index if we talk about the rows from here. okay then we will traverse to the right side similarly here this would be our last uh, this row for this uh, for this i okay so same way we have to vary and we have to check all of them so basically this would be our checking points we just cannot go beyond that now for any i j in this range we have to check whether the given uh, uh, the given matrix can be a uh, magic square or not okay so we will write a method so first of all we will create one uh, a set of visited thing okay so let's say we are creating one set which will put all the values which are visited so far because we cannot have the duplicate values in a uh, uh, in a magic square so for example let's put some values for a better understanding so for example we are uh, this function is magic function let's say is magic function is called at 0 0 okay at 0 0 so we will go to this 0 0 okay so 0 0 and uh, 0 plus 3 right so 0 plus 2 0 plus 4. so this would be our basically thing okay now we will traverse through this uh, thing so see here first of all we will uh, traverse through all the elements of this uh, i equal to 0 and j and then we will see so 4 3 8 we will add all these values to this set okay 4 is there 3 is there 8 is there all of them but because uh, 4 3 8 9 5 1 2 7 6 none of them is duplicate okay so we will not return false here because first condition is true that duplicates are not there okay now we have to check what is the sum of the rows so see here 4 plus 3 plus 8 this is 15 right so this row is 15 now go to this row 9 plus 5 plus 1 this is also 15 2 plus 7 plus 6 this is also 15 now we will check the rows 
uh, columns. So 4 plus 9 plus 2, 4 plus 9 it is uh, 13, 13 plus 2, 15. So this is also 15. Now 3 plus 5, 8, 7, 15. 8 plus 9, 8 plus 1, 9, 6, 15. So all the rows, all the columns are 15 only. So not a problem so far. Now we have to check whether uh, the diagonals. So 4 plus 5 plus 6. So 9 plus 6, it, this is also 15. Go to this diagonal. 2 plus 5 plus 8, this is also 15. That means everything is 15. Row, sum, diagonals and uh, so one more thing is left. There is no duplicate else. And at the same time, when we were checking for the duplicates, we would have checked that is there some value which is lesser than 1 or greater than 9. So that is also true. We don't have any such value. So we can say all the criteria are there for this thing. Okay, so we can say this is a magic value. Now let's say again we will traverse through. Suppose take an example. Let's put some values here. Let's say I am putting 5 here. Okay, I am putting 8 here, 3 here, 7 here, 6 and 5. Okay, now we are calling this function. Let's say we are calling at this point. Okay, so it would be uh, 0 and 1 where we are calling. Okay, so now you can check here. First of all, this would be our thing to check, right? 3 by 3. So, first of all, we will go for set, right? This would be a new set. So, older values would be removed. So, let's say we are removing all those values from here. And then we are starting the new. Okay, so it will take 3, right? So, first of all, it is 3 in the set. Okay, then next is, uh, uh, this is 8, okay? 3, 8, 5, okay? 3, 8 and 5. Now what is next? Again, there is a 5. When we are coming here, there is another 5. So this set has already a 5. That means this cannot be a magic square. This guy cannot be a magic square. So we will return immediately what? We will return false, return F. Okay. So similarly, we will check for all of them with these boundaries. Okay, so let me show you my code which will make a more sensible stuff. So see here, I just created a grid M and N so that I will use these values globally. Okay, now uh, this is my magic function. So on any ISAF we are calling is magic function. This is a Boolean type. So see here, I have created just uh, a Boolean variable and see here, I am traversing through uh, those values. So p equal to i2 p less than i plus 3 p plus plus and q equal to j2 q less than j plus 3 q plus plus because we have 3 by 3 boundation okay then here i am checking if uh, this if this visited already con uh, if visited already uh, contains this value grid pq then we have to return false also if the values are less than 1 or greater than 9 then also we are returning false Otherwise, I am updating the vis of grid p is equal to true because we have to track all the numbers. Okay. Now, I am see here, I am calculating the value of all the diagonals. So, diagonals like this. Okay. So, we are starting from ij. Okay. Then we have to do i plus 1, j plus 1. Right. See here, I am starting ij, then i plus 1, j plus 1, then i plus 2, j plus 2. Similarly, for this diagonal also. Okay. For this diagonal, we have i, j plus 2. Okay, see here this if we are calling our function here, okay, then this would be the one of diagonal of it. So i j plus 2 this guy, then we would have this value. See here this this point, this point is basically i plus 1 and j plus uh, uh, see here j plus 1. Okay, because we are uh, going down and then uh, grid i plus 2 and j okay so finally we are at here so uh, in this way we will uh, calculate both the diagonals so we are checking here that if diagonal sums are not equal then also we are immediately returning false otherwise see here i am calculating the values of all the columns and checking whether these columns are equal to diagonal or not because anywhere if we find find a false con condition we don't have to look for further stuffs okay Similarly, here I am calculating all the rows starting from ij. Our rows would be like i plus 1, i plus 2, i plus 3 and then all the columns. Right? So same thing I have done here for row 1, row 2, row 3. 
so for rho 1 let's say i is constant and j is increasing j so i let's say i is first one zero then j would be zero one and two right so that is why i have done for rho so similarly we are checking for the rows as well whether they they are equal to or diagonal or not if they aren't we are immediately returning false otherwise if we are fulfilled with all the condition we are returning true okay now see here here just i assigned the values of grid and m and n i am creating one variable under uh, answer now see here i am call, uh, calling the function for these i equal to 0 to i plus 2 less than m because we have 3 cross 3 my, uh, this uh, uh, magic uh, square size and similarly for j also j equal to 0 to j plus 2 less than n then i am here calling is magic function which we just wrote here okay this is magic for all the ij okay so if it is true that means that is a magic square so i am increasing the value of answer and finally i am returning the answer so let me execute the code yeah so let me take example test cases yeah so let me submit it so i am submitting it and let's see yeah so it is 100 percent faster so thank you for watching the video if you have any concern please make a comment over there thank you